Hey, what's going on, guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today I'm here with the Raspberry Pi 3, Retro Pi 3.7. And I want to show you guys how to set up your MAME controller. Now, for this tutorial, I am using a wired, generic Super Nintendo controller I got on eBay. I bought four of them for eight bucks. It took two weeks to ship, it was well worth it. Now, in order to map your keys, you're also going to need your keyboard plugged into your Raspberry Pi also. We're going to start MAME. And from here, I'm just going to start a game. We'll do X-Men. When the game is loaded, even the front screen here for the version check, we're going to press tab on the keyboard. Now tap on the keyboard brings us to the retro retro arch config. We want to set up input. So press enter on your keyboard, input general. Unless you want different inputs for different games, it's up to you. This is the input general. Now we're going to use our arrow keys to navigate this menu. You can set up your controller. Um, to navigate this menu also if you'd like. I'm just going to use my keyboard from here. We need a player one start button. Press enter on your keyboard and start on your controller. If you would like to map another button to the start, just so you have two buttons, we're going to map another keyboard button to player one start. I'm going to press enter on the keyboard and one on my no numeric pad on my keyboard. So now we have a one player start button. My joypad one button, or my joypad nine button, which is start, will start player one. Scroll down until we get to coin. Now this is the insert coin for player one. Enter on your keyboard, select on your controller. Enter on your keyboard, five on your keyboard. Now you can use any button you'd like. These are the buttons I use. My insert coin button is my select and my player one start is my start button. We have a few more, scroll down. We need to set up our player one movement. Enter on your keyboard, up on the D-pad. Player one down movement. Enter on your keyboard, down on your D-pad. Left, enter on the keyboard, left on your D-pad. Enter on your keyboard, right on your D-pad. Now, if you would like to set up the arrow keys also, you can just go back here. So player one, right, press enter again, press right on your keyboard. So now it's using my joy axis zero plus or my right button on my keyboard. So for the buttons here, I have a generic Super Nintendo controller, which has six buttons free for me to use right now. And you can map these however you'd like. Most of these main games only use two button configuration. So I'm just gonna map player one button, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Enter on my keyboard. I use B on my controller. It's really simple, guys. And for my number five, I'll just use left trigger. For my number six, I'll use my right trigger. We can press escape. Escape. Now we're still in the game. My controller is now set up. I'm going to insert a coin by pressing the select button. And if you look in the top right hand corner, the one player, press start, there's a life counter. I'm pressing select now. Press select now. So what's that that's gonna do is add more coins. I'm gonna go to we'll use Dazzler. So your key, your um, joypad is now set up to use MAME. And if you would like to exit MAME, 
I always use my keyboard, so I press Control Escape to exit Mame. Um, I believe this is a RetroPie issue with. If you press Start and Select on most emulators, it exits. Uh, Mame has not done that for me in RetroPie. I've always had to use the Control Escape buttons on the keyboard. Control Escape brings us back into the emulation station front end. That's it, guys. This will work with pretty much any controller that works with the Raspberry Pi or Retro Pi. Um, you can set up your Xbox 360 controller that way, your PS3, generic USB controllers, anything really. But just remember, tab on the keyboard when you're in a main game will bring up the configuration menu. And you can set your keys to whatever you'd like. Appreciate you guys watching. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. If you want, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe. Um, I have a lot more coming on the Retro Pi, running on Raspberry Pi, and just emulators in general. Like always, guys, thanks for watching.